night, I was surrounded. All passages bore the heavy boots of men unknown to my houses, my village green, my church, my quiet cemetery. Closer they came, until they were within, and without reason they began to knock and rouse the peace from sleep as dark lay upon me. Gathered up my heart, my keepers and children, my custodians were mustered, cajoled and raided. By the breaking light of day, before the breaking of all things, mothers and children were sent as passengers to a fate I'd never learn. Fathers, sons and brothers were marched around corners. I watched as they led them away, away towards the Horrock farm. A chorus of crackles cackled all at once, and I counted the echoes as they ran through my streets and away across my hills and fields. Five at a time they rose and fell, again and again. Later the noise grew louder, and I counted ten. Ten echoes fading away over the Dietze, again and again, each one leaving a silence deeper than the last. At last, they emerged from around the corners, kept out of sight of decency, the strangers in their heavy boots, drunk of my wine and seemingly pleased with their work. Again they passed through me, emptying me of the memories that had for so long sat side by side with my bricks and mortar, those left for me by my missing people, replaced by sodden stench and now fire, fire upon me, fire trying to pretend I wasn't here. But here I am, even as my voice, the bell, crashed through the gallery, here I am. Not content, they laid charges at my feet. Pulse charges brought them, and they laid them at my feet to scatter me, to bring down what I was. And when the rubble fell, I had new clouds, clouds that fell over me while some drifted away, passengers to a fate I'd never learn. And still, they feared my voice would be heard. Memories flowed through the waters that passed through me, so they took the waters away. They even feared the voices from my silent souls, resting as they were, peaceful in sleep, unaware of this new nightmare. And so they looked over me and they said, We are finished here, it is done. And they showed the world an empty space where once a memory stood, and they said, Look at what we can do, even memories are not safe from us. But they were wrong. By my very absence, people across continents thought, prayed, and planned for me and my people to live on. And even as I wait for their kindness to come and my few cherished children to return, here I stand, overlooked by and looking over the devastation, growing still where always I had. I am Laditza, and I shall live again. Thank you.